the lyrics of Pat Mintar and the uh, maybe self-proclaimed king of Knoxville, Shane Andrews, set for singles action here as he takes on the gift, Jason Kincaid. Man, what a what about we're about to see. Heroes reception here at the Hangover NGW in Newport, Tennessee. Shane Andrews, one of the finest entering wrestlers I've ever seen compete. Jason Kincaid right there on that same line of thinking. You sit back, strap in, you're in for a good one. Shane Andrews looking for a big win here tonight. Would love to get it over Jason Kincaid. Jason, the gift, Kincaid. Singles action for him here tonight. One half of the uh, tag team along with Lasad. What a great team they are. But both of those guys in singles action here tonight. Whoa! Oh, fireworks going off before the bell. It is rare this early in a card to see a pure main event. But that's what you're about to see. These two men put them on any card, any building, any ring with any roster, and they could steal the show, tear it down, and put a new roof on the place. It's going to be a barn burner and a half when these two get in the ring. I am looking forward to this one, Matt Rhodes. Well, Kid Cade, no doubt, maybe the most talented singles wrestler, in my opinion, in the world that is not signed to a major contract. I've said that for many years, but... Of course, Kid Cade, alongside Facade, the Renegades of Flight have been taking a lot of victories, including a big victory at our last event on Civil War V in Knoxville. And many people can't forget the moment where Facade jumped off the balcony. What an insane match that was. And we should see a great match here. And the two men that no doubt have a lot of respect for one another. Jason Kincaid, Shane Andrews. Shane Andrews has been competing for many years, probably close to 15 years now, and he's probably in the best shape of his career. Shane Andrews, one of those guys that I've always, oh, wow. He's not taking it back. Shane Andrews, one of those guys that's always just been one of the best wrestlers on any card I've ever seen. I'm, I've said it three times already. I'm looking so forward to this match. Shane Andrews trying to lock him as Jason grabs the wrist. Both men are just mirror images of each other in the ring. You see Shane trying to start the match with for some respect, but Kincaid didn't want nothing to do with it. And one thing Kincaid is a master at is mind games. And now you see him standing on his head. Look at this great exchange here in the quickness of Kincaid. Wrist lock takedown. So fluid. Shane Andrews is going to have the size advantage here. Shane Andrews is a hoss. This guy's built. But Kid Cade, no doubt, you can call him an indie darling, you can call him whatever you want to. I was calling the best at what he does. This man, no doubt, should be on a grand stage somewhere in this world and will be one day, folks. Take, take my word for that. You gotta wonder how long it'll take a match like this to break down. I'm looking forward to some of the best wrestling that we could see anywhere in this contest. But you gotta wonder with the little signs of aggression we've seen early on, if we're gonna see this sportsmanship the entire time. And look at that, Shane Andrews. I don't know how sportsmanlike that was, but legal as the elbow just got driven into the mat. Shane Andrews, though, I had a chance to speak with him a little earlier today, and you know, he tore the house down with Matt Cross at Uncivil War Five, but man, he, he came up just a little short and he was so disappointed in that. And he's got his heart set on winning this. I mean, Shane Andrews has been in the ring with the best NGW has to offer, and he's came up short. And you got to wonder what that does to a person. Does that, does that sit in your mind in the middle of a match? Does that, does that cause you to do a move or two differently? Does that, is that what could cost you the match? Going to take down by Kincaid in the front face lock, but a great reversal now. Some great mat wrestling here. 
from Shane Andrews at Kincaid, though one of the best, maybe one of the best amateurs around. He can surprise you with what he can do. There's nothing that Jason can't do into the head scissor. Quickly up. Great wrestling here. Both men back to square one, staring off opposite corners. But like you said, Dylan, you got to wonder how long it takes for things to break down. Who's going to be the first one to do to, to do something a little dirty? To, you know, to pull it, pull the hair. Well, herring will be possible, but pull the tights or rick somebody in the eyes, you know, or or go low. You know, don't take him. Don't take him. Uh, at not the first oh! shot. I was fixed to say Jason Kincaid has a mean streak a mile wide. He's one of the best pure wrestlers you could ever see, but he he's cruel. Kincaid springboard. Knee. Oh, right across the midsection. Now, lightning fast is Jason Kincaid, and if you're watching this on High Spots Wrestling Network, try watching Kincaid live to appreciate his talent, folks. It's a different level, it really is. Backs him into the corner. Lots up the chest. Kincaid wasn't happy with that first one. He's going for more. Andrews has got it. Yeah, buddy. Of course, Kincaid with that protector on his chest. And he's, oh, yeah. Not anymore. Andrews still popped him. He's going to get him again here. Yes, sir. Kincaid quickly pulls it back down. And now they go right back to work. Kincaid to the midsection. The change of momentum. Andrews reverses. Catches him. Got him in a crossbody position. Is he going to fall away with him here? No. Up top. Oh, an inverted DVD across the knee. Goes the cover. One, two. Jason able to kick out, but immediately holding the back of that neck. That could that could change this match instantly. That might be the that may be the opening Shane Andrews was looking for. Picking a part to go to. He's got him hooked here. Oh, Fisherman suplex. Hooks the leg and nearly gets Kincaid. Pressure on the neck when he delivered that suplex. The angle at which Jason landed. Now back up. Kicks to the thigh. You can't sleep on Kincaid. You think you may have him in a vulnerable spot, and he'll just pop right back up from out of nowhere. But Shane Andrews, they got to give it to him here. He's a step ahead at the moment. Stiff kick across the back. Just plants him. Right in the chest as well. Mean kicks from Shane Andrews, asking the crowd if he wants one more. Crowd heavily involved here tonight in Newport, Tennessee. This is a little different for Shane Andrews. You don't see this type of offense, the kicks, and that one to the back of the skull, showing he could use those legs as a weapon. Scouted him very well. Jason able to kick out again, but each time you got to wonder what it's taken out of Jason to kick out, that neck has been targeted. Every time he kicks out, that's putting pressure on that neck, stressing that neck out every single time. And of course, Jason, there you see clearly favoring the neck here. And there's that forearm shot to get impact to the front of the neck. And again, sending, sending a jolt down the spine of the gift. The Kinnovator slides out. And now pulls Andrews out of the ring. Look out. Now Jason going to fly. Goes to the apron with a farm. Right to the face. Catches him. Crowd on fire. Kincaid back up. This man's incredible. You never know where, what direction Jason Kincaid will be coming from as he goes over into the oh, stomp. Wow. Right there. And just sits on him for good measure. He may have the match worn right here. He may have, uh, may have done some damage to the ribs. Kincaid. Matt, who does that? Who flips over the ropes and lands on the apron with their feet on somebody? Who does that? Jason Kincaid. Oh, man! Whoa! A modified version of his Grave of the Fireflies finisher and a two. I've never seen anything like that. And again, they don't call him the Kinnovator of wrestling offense for nothing is the Jason, the gift Kincaid. And the momentum he had coming down from the air on that, just planting Shane Andrews into the mat even harder. Jason now up, big lariat across, catches him. Just Shane was, doesn't go down. That lariat stung, and Andrews just not phased. Comes back with a roundhouse. Tit for tat, you give me one, I got one right back. Jason catches him, no sir. Jason had that well scouted in the combo of offense here. Runs right into a boot for his efforts. Shane Andrews, he's not gonna, he's not gonna go down lightly. Like you said, he's been right there on the cusp. He's had it 
right there in his grasp. Will tonight be the night oh, he's able to pull it off? Jason man. says no. He got even as a he modified Falcon arrow right there. Bridges up and gets a near fall. Of course, Jason Kincaid riding momentum here at NGW off of that big fatal four-way tag team match win where they come off and they beat the Lynch Mob, the besties in the world, and the Tate Twins last month at NGW in Knoxville. No doubt, definitely a tag team title shot in their future. But at the moment, Jason Kincaid proving, hey, I might be in line for a world title shot here. Shane Andrews isn't going to let him suplex him, keeping that gravity, the low center of mass down, elbow to the side of the head, comes back. These two men are just brutal. They are giving each other everything they've got here tonight in Newport on a Sunday evening. Now business picks up the straps. Straps down. Jason, Jason, don't play, baby. It's hard to imagine Kincaid can take it to another level, but I think Kincaid is taking it to that next level. Aggression at, in his face. Yeah, look at the look, the look on both these men's faces. They're trading vicious forearms here. Kincaid with an uppercut. Gets the better of it. No. Andrews ducks. Legs to the, to the knees. Pump strike. Spinning heel kick and a shot to the side of the head. Matt Rhodes, did you hear the contact as Newport comes unglued? St. Andrews for a big win and their fall. Wow. The contact, the, the thuds that those kicks and, and elbows were making could make any man cringe watching this at home. Do not try this at home for sure. Shane Andrews signals it is over here tonight. Hooks him one more time, Matt Rhodes. We're going for a brain buster or something here as he's got him up, but Kincaid says not right now. Kincaid floats over going for a German maybe. No, standing switch by Andrews. Great wrestling match here. Oh man, impact to the back. German suplex, bridges up. Both shoulders are down. Andrews, near fall. I know schools recently started back across the country. Both these men doing their homework on the other. I don't think any man, I don't think either of them can do one that the other's not got a counter for. This has been, this has just been a pure Matt classic in here. But you hear, you hear it right there and apologize for the language, but Andrews is frustrated and the, uh, and the chant begins. You know, you know, when you start to see frustration sink in, that usually isn't a good sign. You know, this goes back to what we were talking about earlier, him being so close to getting that big win here recently. Frustration setting in. Will it be enough to cause him to slip? And Jason Kincaid, the in-ring master, be able to be right there and, and take advantage of it. Trying to get him here in a pinning predicament. Oh, no, Kincaid drops down. Both legs. Now oh, reversed here by Andrews. And there you see these pinning combos here. Oh, he spins him. Both shoulders down again. What a great match here and a double line. Both men back up. Another double clothesline. Neither man. Oh, they in. both go for the knockout blow. And they take each other's heads off. On their feet here in Newport. Neither man giving an inch. Do you want it? Which man wants it more here tonight in Newport? Ain't that the truth? These guys are laid it all on the line here. And the only thing on the line here, pride and the winner's purse. That's about it. And they're giving it everything they've got. Back up to vertical basis. Shane Andrews meets that clothesline with a knee. Oh no, he got him, he got him with a T-bow. And now Andrews, oh man, Andrews gonna go up top. This is not the normal for Shane Andrews. Gonna fly, high, high risk. risk. High Swanton reward. bomb. High risk, high reward paid off. No! Crowd counting in unison. Kincaid able to kick out last second. Matt, what's it going to take? If you hear a crowd counting in unison, that's because the crowd thinks the match is over. Jason Kincaid said, not yet. These Warriors are leaving it all in this ring tonight to be determined one winner. And, man, this match has fully exceeded my expectations here tonight. The stamina both men have in, is incredible. Like we touched on earlier, the heat in this building alone, both men to be able to go the length they have so far as Shane Andrews puts Jason up back to the high rent district. Slap across the face for good measure. With this heat in here tonight, a normal man would be sucking air right now. If have not an oxygen out. tank. Yeah, if not passed out in the back of an ambulance. And now you see it danger looming. As old man, both men going up to the top. 
Fred Chantry is hooked by Andrews, trying to superplex him, but Kincaid, the quickness, and he can finagle himself anywhere. Oh, no. Buckle bomb. bomb. Plants him. Kincaid running. Other side of the ring. Cloud. To coast. All the way. One side to the other. Hooks him up in the air. Slingshot. Falcon zero. And that may be it. One. Kincaid two. for the win. No. Andrews able to kick out. I don't know what it's going to take. I don't know what can be done that hasn't been done yet. I second the crowd because that slingshot Falcon Zero should have done it, but Shane Andrews said, not tonight. I'm not going away that easy. I know that look, Dylan. I've seen that look many a times in my career. I think I know what he's thinking right here. To the top rope, to the top of the pole. I think death is fixing to come down from above from Jason Kincaid. He went for the death from above, but he missed it. Andrews able to get out of the way last second. Oh! oh that turnbuckle! His midsection right across that exposed turnbuckle behind the padding. Now Andrews up, both men, bad positioning. Hard shot to the ribs by Jason Kincaid. Hard uppercut. And now Andrews looking maybe for the third time. To the, the tippy suplex. Top. He got it! Rolls through, still has him hooked. Brain buster! Shane Andrews looking to get the monkey off his back, and he did for the you. win. What a, what a hellacious match. They threw everything at each other. And the kitchen sink. And Shane Andrews scores maybe his biggest win here at NGW. That's, what a moment for Shane Andrews. That's a win to be proud of, and that's a match for Jason Kincaid to be proud of. Listen to this crowd. And Matt, we're nowhere near done tonight. No, we're nowhere near done, and that's the, that's the good thing. Shane Andrews here. Are we done? How much more can they take? Now. You didn't respect me before. Well, you damn sure respect me now as Shane Andrews with a big win here tonight. Dylan, we still have a lot more to come and Shane Andrews is gonna go back to Knoxville and party hard tonight as uh, the hangover rolls on.